With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, here is a question with four options. The question is, Selaginella can be regarded as an evolutionary advanced pteridophyte because of the four options are rhizophore, ligule, heterospory and apospory. Okay, so first of all, we will see this Selaginella is a fern. We will write over here. It is a kind of fern. Okay, and this Selaginella are heterospores or we can say heterosporous. Why heterosporous? Because the spores which are produced are both male spore is known as microspore microspore and the female spore is known as megaspore okay this microspore and megaspore both are born on selaginella okay so they are known as heterosporous because both types of spores are produced. Okay. So, this is known as heterospory. This is known as heterospory. And this heterospory is regarded as the evolutionary advanced pterodophyte that is Selaginella. Okay. So, heterospory is our right answer. But we will also discuss the rest of the options. The first one that is rhizophore. This rhizophore is a root-like structure. It is a root-like structure. Okay. It is a root-like structure that appear at the junction of stems. It appear at the junction. We will write over here. Junction of Stems. These rhizophores are also called organ sui generis. Okay. But this rhizophore is not the evolutionary advanced character of pteridophyte. It is also present or found in Selaginella. Still, it is not the evolutionary advanced pteridophyte. Okay, so it is not the right answer. Next comes the ligule. This ligule is a structure that is seen in the Selaginella. It is the outgrowth. It is a outgrowth and is a identifying character of this Selaginella fern. But, but it is not the evolutionary character or evolutionary advanced pteridophyte character of Selaginella. So this is not the right option. Next, we will see about this apospory. This apospory is a kind of development of 2N gametophyte. 2N gametophyte. Okay. Which is formed without meiosis or making spores. Without meiosis or spores. Okay. So, this is called apospory without meiosis and spores, the development of this 2N gametophyte. But it is not found in this Selaginella. Okay. Because in Selaginella, heterospory is found. So, heterospory is our right answer and an evolutionary advanced character in the pteridophyte that is Selaginella. Okay. So, Selaginella can be regarded as an evolutionary advanced pteridophyte because of heterospory. So, this third one is our right answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.